How do? I'm going to uh, speed paint the shock jump dragster. The shock jump, God, shock jump dragster. Um, as with a lot of horde armies, you're going to have a lot of models to paint. So it makes sense to have some techniques to get you onto the table quicker into a good standard. The model's been built in sub assembly, so the people that were in the the seats and the driver seats are kept out separately. And I've given this a Chaos Black Prime. The main reason for that is as the model has got an amount of black on it. Um, particularly the wheels, but also for, for me, orcs are, are dingy and dirty and dark and it's easier to layer up from a black where you've already got the, the dark recesses than it is to come back with a wash to try and darken down the recesses. I'm going to be going for a Death Skulls clan, so I'm going to be mainly blues rather than yellows in this one just because that's what my army is, so I want to do it that way. So as, as well as this model, you've got, you've got the driver, two little buddies. Essentially I've gone in there with um, orc flesh contrast paint. The only thing I'd say is that if you're going to be painting um, with this, um, it's good to have a light primer on the models and it gives you a better colour. But because of that you do need to be really careful when you're painting when you're painting up to the edge. And then the other elements which I've not, not attached, um, I've just sprayed lead belcher. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to give it a lead belcher dry brush and that will bring up the silver across the main part of the model. I'm not going to touch the wheels. So it's a dry brush I'm just going to take a bit of the paint. It's fine to go straight from the pot on this. I'm going to take off most of the paint on uh, either a tissue or a piece of paper and you're working it into the bristles and the idea is you want to work it through through the bristles and not leave very much onto the the paper. And then the more you have on the brush, the more it's painting rather than dry brushing. And then I'm just going to brush over the model. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I'm wanting to catch the edges. And you can see there, I've got, started to get some detail. Here's the end result of the dry brush. A lot of nice detail being picked out along here. Um, I think these blades have actually come up um, silver enough. So the next thing to do is to do the gold bits. Um, so there's quite a few bits actually on this model. You've actually got some of the design at the back, um, part of the gun, um, and some of the, the, the rings and braces. And I'd actually go for a Balthazar gold for this because it's a darker gold, um, sort of darker redier rather than like a rich retributor armor type gold. So the gold is done now, a um, couple of little bits, a couple of little pieces of detail. The main focus is in the engine bay and then if you look at the back as well. So what we're going to do now is go use uh, the contrast ultramarine blue and that's because I'm doing death skulls. So I'm going to go use the box out over here uh, and then take this up into blue. So with the ultramarine blue contrast done, it's starting to look pretty cool. The good thing is about orc um, machines is essentially an orc is just slapping some paint on and in this case it's to make his vehicle lucky. So you can kind of choose where you want to put it. What I'll now do is I'll now use um, black tempar contrast just to go over the tyres um, where I've made a you know, brushed them with the dry brushing, and then any bits on the gun or uh, on the vehicle that I think should be black. Now the next stage is the first part of weathering, and that's the fun bit with or vehicles. It's doing a lot of weathering. So what I like to start with is typhus corrosion, which is a technical paint. Hit that um, along the exhaust, along the bottom, behind the wheel arches, along the edges of these. I also like to. Um, Add a bit more rust effects on this by taking some Mornfang Brown, mixing it quite heavily with water just in a little pot like this, and then just dabbing it on, whether it's along the bottom edges, on bits that you want to look um, uh, rusted. That stage one is now done. Now with weathering, I'd always say less is more. You can always build it up. So I've gone around here with Travis Corrosion on the front with some of the um, rust types of colours, just around there on the side on the exhaust and you'll really see that it, it sort of muckies it up a bit. The next phase is um, more weathering, phase two of the weathering, which is essentially just Agrax Earth Shade over the entire thing. With the Agrax really dry now we can go on to the final step of weathering which is to take 
Stormhouse Silver. And we're going to use a little sponge. Now I've just ripped off a bit of a sink sponge. And you can see I've used this before, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's relatively clean. So I'm going to take a bit. I'm just going to dab it off onto a piece of paper just to take some of the some of the ink away, a bit like dry brushing really. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to dab it on the model. It looks like bits of the the paint have come off and scratches. And I'll also base it in my standard orc base, which for me is to use a geek gaming. PVA and some base ready um, stones, sand and flock. I actually forgot that the box art has some blue glow on the gun on the back. So what I'm going to do is use some soulstone blue, technical paint, it's pretty cool. To be honest you could probably use the Tesseract glow from Necron if you want like a green glow, that looks pretty cool. And I'm just going to do around these little bits here. So it's based, I painted the, the edge of the base black in this case, it's always a good way of just finishing it and making your model look clean. Each of the Orcs and the Gretchens that are sitting in the car have been painted and I've used the contrast colours, so Orc Green Flesh, Contrast Black Templar, Snake Bite Leather, Witchwood. So here's the end result. Hope you like it, hope you think it's been a, um, a good quick tutorial. So if you like this process, comment down below if you think I could I should be doing some things differently or you'd like to see uh, tutorials that are different to this, let me know. Um, so like and subscribe.